So you may be in a situation where for some reason your specific iPhone is stuck on an Apple logo, a frozen screen, something like that. Now I want to calm you down. We will probably get through this. It's not going to be anything super crazy. I've been through this type of situation a million times. And even just yesterday when I updated to iOS 15, my device actually ended up going through pretty much was stuck on an Apple logo, which was very annoying. Now, it's not that crazy big of a deal. You know, it'll probably get fixed. But the first thing I would recommend you to do, and it's the easiest thing that I would highly recommend you all to kind of look at, is to actually go ahead and leave your iPhone as it is. I know that sounds super crazy, but sometimes, you know, your device may end up just having to boot loop through a specific issue. Maybe it's just having to get stuck in a black screen for a little bit. And literally, if you just plug your iPhone into a charger and just let it sit there, you may actually end up being able to just boot your phone back up randomly without losing any of your data, without anything like that. And it's very, very common. You'd be surprised. This has happened to me a ton of times throughout my life. I would say as many times as my phones have boot looped and had random issues like that, about 50% of the time, if I just plug them in and just left them alone for like an hour or two, they'll just somehow come back to life and I will never have another issue with them. So that's the very first thing I would recommend doing. Again, not a complete guarantee, but it is one of those things that, you know, just in case your iPhone just, you know, isn't getting turned on or if it's just, you know, being stuck on the Apple logo or a black screen or whatever, just letting it sit there for a while, that may actually end up fixing it. Now, if you did update your iPhone and it's just boot looping and it's been a couple hours, the next thing I would recommend doing, and this is what I had to do yesterday, I pretty much had to factory reset my iPhone. So what this looks like is essentially everything from your iPhone is going to be deleted. Luckily for you, we live in a day and age where most of the stuff is already backed up some way. So even if you never did a backup or iCloud backup or something, you may actually actually end up already having some sort of backup within Snapchat or Instagram or your Twitter or whatever the case is. All your stuff for the most part may already be backed up and you may not even realize it. WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, a lot of those photos and stuff, even messages, they can be stored inside of those specific messages too. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a computer with you. If you do not have a Mac or PC, obviously you're going to want to be in front of one in order to do this. You want to grab your lightning cable. So you want to have a cable to connect from your computer to your specific iPhone, then what you want to do is if your iPhone is stuck on a black screen or if it's frozen, so if it's on a frozen screen or whatever, you want to get into essentially DFU mode. So what this is, I'll put the instructions on the screen because it's a little bit different per device, but essentially if you have an iPhone 8 or newer, so things like the iPhone 8, iPhone 10, what you want to do is you want to hold down the volume up button and you want to quickly release the volume up button and you want to hold the volume down button. And then what you want to do is you want to hold the side button essentially until you see the Apple logo. Now what's going to happen is hopefully your phone will turn on. If it still doesn't turn on, you're going to have to contact Apple support. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you essentially just hold both the side button and the volume down button until you see the Apple logo come up. Now with the iPhone 6 or earlier, including the first generation iPhone SE, you're going to want to hold both the home button and the side button, which is, which is also the power button on the side or the top, until you see the Apple logo. Now again, if none of these things happen, then again, you're going to have to contact Apple to kind of fix those things thoroughly. Now, if your iPhone turns on, but it keeps getting stuck during the startup, so things like, you know, it's getting stuck on an update or whatever the case is, what you want to do in this case is what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer. And again, you want to follow the on-screen instructions. You want to click on the buttons that you have to click on until your iPhone gets into the recovery mode. So the recovery mode screen is essentially it showcases the lightning cord connecting to the computer. And this is exactly where you want to be. So now what you want to do is once your iPhone is connected to the computer, you just have to go ahead and open up your files app or the iTunes app, depending on which specific app you're using. And at this point, all you have to do is wait until your, you know, specific screen prompts you saying, Hey, we noticed an iPhone in restore mode or whatever. Do you want to update or restore this iPhone? Now, if you have a backup made, then you want to click restore. Even update is probably not going to work. Sometimes you can click update, see if it's going to fix it. Most of the time it's never fixed it for me. I have to click restore and then it sees if there's a problem and it sees if it can fix it. And sometimes you may have a backup already there and you can just restore from a backup. If not, you're going to have to fully go ahead and delete everything from this phone. So follow the on-screen instructions in order to do that. And this is what I had to do yesterday with my iPhone 12. 
resolve, I pretty much had to delete everything off of it, which was very annoying. But then at that point, I was pretty much set. I was good to go. My phone booted back up and I was able to install a lot of the apps back on and everything like that. Of course, everything was deleted, but it was still a much better experience than having to buy a new iPhone 12. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.